Now, the independent council team investigating the massive corruption scandal gripping Korea summoned Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong for the second time this morning. He arrived at around 9.30 a.m., two and a half hours ago. Let's connect to our Hwang Ho-joon, who's been at the independent council office pretty much since the crack of dawn. So, Ho-joon, Mr. Lee is among the richest men in Korea and certainly one of the most powerful uh, what can you tell us about his entrance this morning? Mark, the fact that this wasn't his first appearance here didn't really matter as swarms of reporters, police and protesters packed the entrance to the building where the independent council office is located, all trying to get a glimpse or at least shout things at the so-called Prince of Samsung. As you said, Lee Jae-yong arrived at around 9.30 this morning while reporters asked him multiple questions Lee only left a single comment before taking the elevator. I will again faithfully tell the truth during the special prosecutor's interrogation today. Samsung is alleged to have given huge donations to entities controlled by President Park's now jailed confidant Choi Soon Shin in return for favors such as political support for the controversial merger of two Samsung affiliates, Samsung CNT and Tail Worldwide, a move seemed to have cemented Lee Jae-yong's succession as head of the tech giant. Lee was first questioned a month ago when the team grilled him for 22 hours straight. The prosecutors then requested a warrant for his arrest on charges of bribery, embezzlement and perjury, but that was rejected. There's a chance they could again seek a warrant after today's interrogation, but we'll get more details during the afternoon briefing scheduled for 2.30 p.m. Mark.